every day because you have experiences that relate to these 14 points every day. Uhuru. This is Kobina Bantu Shango, the uh, Southern Region Representative of African People's Social Party. We want to welcome you to another great uh, political education. I think we might be one of the fastest growing political educations in, 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 uh, in, in, in I want to say the world, but I'm going to say the South, in the South. You know what I'm saying? So we really appreciate everybody uh, being on. We're expecting some more people to come on and uh, looking forward to it. Um, and I know it's a couple of things that we're going to have to get resolved because people are not getting reminders and uh, some people have been having problems getting coming onto the link. So that's something that we got to work on between this meeting and, and the next one. But I'm looking forward to the discussion, comrade. Kundai is going to be leading this one today and we're studying point number 14. So I'm really looking forward uh, to the discussion. And uh, if... If y'all ready, we can, I'm gonna turn it over to Comrade Kundai. And then, um, you know, she gonna, she gonna lead it. And all those, if, if you also listen on Facebook, wanna make sure that you're sharing so other people can see it as well. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and we've been getting it out on YouTube to let people hear the discussion and participate. But I'm gonna turn it over to Comrade Kundai uh, to lead us in this discussion. Uhuru. Uhuru. Um, uh -huh, everybody. Um, uh -huh. welcome to this study tonight. Um, I'm really appreciative. I want to start by saluting uh, my leadership, um, Comrade Kobina, um, and the Southern Region for putting this together, and my direct leadership, uh, Dr. Aisha Fields, um, the director of APDEP, which is the parent organization in which uh, of Zen's Like Assignment, which is the institution in which we are hosting this live stream. And of course, I want to uh, salute the chairman and the NCC, uh, Chairman Amalia Chatella and the NCC at African People's Socialist Party um, for one, for the, the theory of African internationalism and the leadership uh, in, um, in this 14 point platform that we're going to be wrapping up today on the last point. So um, shout out to everybody that, uh, that's been on for all 14 points and all the newcomers as well. So um, Dexter, could we get the point up? And um, uh, yeah, we can start by just um, putting the point up. And um, Comrade Kobina, could you explain just in general what the 14 point platform is for everybody, for um, new people or people on the Facebook or YouTube that may be watching that don't know? Oh, yeah. Um, the 14 point platform is the, uh, you know, what, what the African People's Socialist, uh, African People's Socialist Party believe and want, you know what I'm saying? And it helps to, it helps to lay down the foundation for everything that we do. Everything that we do is built off the 14 point platform. So whether you see uh, a store like Zenzele, a program like Anwo or uh, an organization like Anwo, all of it is coming off of the 14 point platform and our way to organize the community. So it shows that we have intent in terms of the trajectory that we own and what we want to accomplish and that we plan to govern. And this is, you know, the strategy in which we're going to make these things happen. So the 14 point platform is the foundation of, of what we want, what we believe. And it shows that it's not some type of spontaneous, spontaneous, uh, uh, spontaneous type of thing. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, it's real intent 
and focus and 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 you have to have the discipline to be able to carry those things out. So, you know, uh, that's what that's the basis of the 14 point platform. So everything that you see us doing, whether it's selling the burning spears and Zelle, or who foods and pies, all of it is a strategy that stems from the 14 point platform. 14 point platform. You connect everything that we do to those 14 points. Uhuru. Uhuru. Thank you. And I almost forgot maybe if everybody could just quickly take like 20 seconds to um, introduce yourself. Um, we all know uh, Conrad Kobina, Southern Ooh. Regional Representative here in Huntsville, Alabama. Myself is Kundai. Um, I serve as Assistant Manager here at Zins Lake Consignment, one of uh, over 50 economic projects in the Uhuru <laughs> movement. And um, could um, everyone else just quickly introduce themselves? Like I said, maybe take like 20 seconds to say who you are, where you're from, and um, maybe what organization you represent, if you represent an organization. Uhuru, Sayero, out of Battle Creek, Michigan. Um, APSP, African People's Socialist Party member, uh, Louisiana United International, which is now AUI, America United International. Um, and I have a friend down at the bottom who's got my name that shared the same link. Uh, if you'd introduce yourself, young man, definitely would appreciate you in this. Uh, as sharp as you are, you're a smart African. Mm -hmm. Down below, James Davis. Hello, everyone. My name is James Davis. I'm from the Benton Harbor area, um, southwestern Michigan. Um, I'm just glad to be here. Glad to be a part of this movement to learn. Mm -hmm. Welcome in, James. I'm Queen Mother Kashiba. I'm Norfolk. I'm in the New Black Panther Party. I'm also Minister of Health. And uh, I work with the youth. I do a lot of things. So, you know, I'm glad to be with y'all too. I've been through all 14. So, mm -hmm. Uhuru and Vanguard up. Vanguard up. up. Uhuru. Um, I'm Comrade Farrell Kamosi. I'm a um, member of the African People's Socialist Party in the Uhuru movement. And um, I'm in Greenville, South Carolina. All power to the people, Black power. Uhuru, uh Comrade -huh. Farrell. What's going on? What's going on? You know, I had better go. I think. Uh -huh. Oh, that ain't him? Oh. <laughs> 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 hey, go <laughs> for your daddy. Right. Hello everyone, my name is Kira Lawton. I'm from Hudson Valley, New York, and I'm a member of Impedum. Oh, come right, Kira. Uhuru, I'm an DCG. Uh, I'm a member of Impedum. I serve as the secretary for the newly formed Boston branch of Impedum. Uhuru. Uhuru, come right. East Coast. Uhuru. My name is Dexter Mlinwingu. I'm a, a member of Impedum in the African People's Socialist Party, uh, currently based out of Boston as well. Uhuru. 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 Thank you, everybody, for um, introducing yourselves and thank you for coming on today. So now, Comrade Dexter, if we could uh, jump into the last point of the platform, point 14. <clears throat> excuse me and do we have anybody that would like to volunteer to read um the 14 point the 14th point i can Ooh, do it Sayero, i can do oh no if somebody else wants to do it do it oh that's okay it's okay right. no you gotta Kira, you gotta you gotta, you gotta, you, gotta more, you got a much better voice than me go ahead okay. all right Ooh. so point 14 we want the total liberation and unification of africa under all african socialist government we believe that the total liberation and unification of Africa under an all African socialist government must be the primary objective of all black revolutionaries throughout the world. It is an objective which when achieved will bring about the fulfillment of the aspirations of Africans and people of African descent everywhere. It will at the same time advance the triumph of the international socialist revolution and the onward progress toward communism under which every society is ordered on the principle of from each according to his or her ability to each according to his or her needs, Kwame Nkrumah. Uhuru, uhuru. Um, 
Thank you for reading that, Kara. And I just want to um, open it up quickly now, uh, maybe for uh, about three minutes, just to see um, if anybody has any input on, you know, how they understood this point before we get into some of the multiple choice questions. Uhuru, <clears throat> what, I, what I'm discovering with this point is that it's like an outreach globally uh, here in the U.S. and abroad. And, and, and finding revolutionaries or like-minded revolutionaries all over. As a matter of fact, I've been doing so personally because I found brothers in Liberia, they ready, revolutionaries. Uh, I found uh, brothers in Ghana, uh, they ready with their families. I think that we hungry all over the globe uh, for this movement to defeat colonialism, imperialism and capitalism uh, across the globe, Uhuru. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Anybody else got any input on how they understood point 14 before we get into some questions? Yeah, I think the only thing I would add is that, <coughs> uh, you know, I really unite with this point. And I think it says a, there's a lot that's being said, but it, it, it shows that we, are, uh, we have an intent to govern. You know, and like uh, I think, I think it was Dr. Aisha <laughs> last week that talked about. Uh, it might have been another meeting, but I think she talked about how like anybody can talk about freedom. You know what I'm saying? And we can, freedom is such a vague term that you can say, you know, you want freedom from your rent. You know what I'm saying? You want freedom. Uh, you want just economic freedom, or you just want. Uh, the freedom to, to be able to do what you want to do. But uh, but we not only want freedom, we want independence. We want to be able to govern, you know what I'm saying? And that's what we fight for. And it sets us aside from uh, a lot of other organizations and, 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 and people with intent. Like we're not trying to be free within colonialism. We want to govern. We want our own independence. We want, our, we want power over our own lives and, and, and we understand that we cannot have that simultaneously with colonialism. So colonialism has to be overturned in order for us to have a uh, real freedom and independence uh, and in our lifetime. So I really wanna just pull that out and just say that's, that's what we fight for. And again, it sets us aside because a lot of people talk about freedom, but you know, you, you fighting for freedom to, you know, to be within the confines of colonialism, it, it, it ain't really freedom. <laughs> I just wanted to add something to that point. Um, I definitely unite with the uh, point as well. And I think that most of the time, you know, we have governments, we have to constantly make compromises, like you said, within the confines of capitalism. But I think it's important for us to be united as a front is every politician we have who says that they have our best interests in mind I don't want to be rude or disrespectful, but I can't think of one person who has really met any initiatives that have benefited our entire community as a whole. And I haven't seen any sustainable solutions that have been passed on from generation to generation to make things better. So I do agree that if we are not united and that if we don't govern ourselves, no one else will do it for us. So I definitely agree with this point and I'm really glad that we're talking about that this evening. Oh, right on, right on. All right, well, I appreciate everybody's um, input. That was good um, input, how everybody understood um, the first point. So, um, oh, the manager's right. So, uh, so the main ideas of point 14, um, you know, that we should be mindful of um, in the discussion tonight is the primary objectives of Black revolutionaries around the world must be the total liberation and unification of Africa under an all African socialist government. Two, when this is achieved, it will fulfill the aspirations of African people around the world. And three, the total liberation of Africa will also advance the internationalist socialist revolution and the onward progress toward communism based on the principle of from each according to his 
or her ability to each according to his or her needs, as Kwame Nkrumah once stated. Okay, um, let's go to the next one, Vixen. <clears throat> Um, okay, so question number one, the primary, oh, and my bad, it was um, two other people that had just came on that, uh, that I wanted to welcome in, um, uh, Langston and comrade uh, Taman, Tamania, Tamania, Tamane. Tamani, ta, 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 I'll let her say it, but Uhuru, this is Langston. Uhuru, thank Uhuru. you. I think it's um, Uhuru, my sorry, I'm like giving the kids a bath and I'm multitasking, but um, it's it's four syllables. Kama nai, kama nai. Uhuru, come right. Thank you and welcome in. Never woke me up. And also, I'm right, Gail. Welcome in. Get some food early. No, the food is tomorrow. Uhuru. And and hold on. And let's um and let's um also want to welcome in um director Aisha Fields, uh, who stated earlier is the director of one of the mass organizations of the Uhu movement, which is the just like in PDOM that a lot of you, a lot of you all are familiar with. Um, another one of our mass organizations is APDEP, which is the All African People's Development and Empowerment Project. Sarah so going crazy for PDOM. But um, but yeah, so uh, welcome in Dr. Fields. And, uh, woo -woo. Woo -woo. and okay, so question number one: the primary objective of all Black revolutionaries throughout the world is. Um, since Sayer was so was so hype on that part, I'm gonna, uh, we're gonna let you take this first one. You dropped the bomb on me. <laughs> To, to create multiple, that's D, create multiple independent African states within the currently existing borders. Uhuru. All right, Uhuru. Um, and uh, can you say? Well, um, I also, I, I also want to say C as well. I mean, they both look good to me, right? Yeah. Like uh, the liberation and unification of Africa under an all African uh, socialist government. So I guess that would encompass the D as well. So I would think it would well, have to be C. Yes. Okay. So the correct answer is C. And um, maybe if you could say why it's not A and B, and then we could elaborate on um, how D is uh, is actually different and a different objective than C. All right. A, the creation of a new African nation in the Black Belt South. It, it, it really puts us in one pigeonhole, right? One area, you know, we're not really uniting. It's just in one area. B, a multinational worker state, multinational. I mean, uh, it, it sounds like, okay, well, I wanna be a part of the colonial worker system and we want it for everybody. You know, if it sounds like that to me, that's my opinion. Um, and how it relates to D, to create multiple independent African states, well, that was the wrong answer. I take that back because we don't want to create, uh, we do want independent states within the currently existing borders, but we want it all collective. Uh, if that makes sense, uh, create multiple, multiple independent African states within the currently existing borders. Um, I think we want that too. I mean, maybe I'm confused. Somebody correct me on that, but definitely C and I, I would see D. Maybe it's my Uhuru. glasses. Uhuru. Uhuru. Yeah, I, I appreciate you answering this one. And so the correct answer is C. And um, the reason why, um, can we put it back up real quick, Dexter, so I can go through um, those points real quickly again? Um, I know A was about the Black Belt South, which was, you know, I mean, like you said, even militarily, I mean, it doesn't make sense to to surround yourself by the enemy, we, we're gonna take however many states isn't five states in the in the south, and then what the rest of the other forty five states gonna be surrounded by by our colonizers. I mean, it doesn't even make sense just from like a military standpoint. And anyways, Africa is the richest continent in terms of natural resources. As and if we are and if if we African people, why wouldn't we want to be where you know? Why wouldn't we want to be 
there. And then um, the multinational worker state. So then this kind of sounds like that's kind of like a um, like a white left kind of uh, politic, like as if white workers have the same type of contradictions and experience the same type of oppression as black workers just because they're poor too. What but white people, whether they're, you know, uh, working class too, but they sit, um, or wh whether or not they're working class or not, they still sit um, on the back and, and, and benefit from the exploitation of African people. Um, and um, so, in, like you said, the answer is C. And the reason why it wouldn't be D is because um, cause we don't want the currently existing borders to exist because all of the borders that exist right now serve imperialism. They serve the colonizers. It, it doesn't serve us to have all these different countries in Africa and to be Nigerians and to be Cameroonians and to be South Africans and, um, and Egyptians or Algerians. You know, none of that, none of that serves African people. It serves the colonizers. It serves France and Britain and the U.S. It doesn't serve us. And so we want to, by building um, a, a unified Africa under an all African socialist government, we get rid of those borders. Those in the socialist Africa, none of those borders that we see in Africa will exist today, will exist, you know, in this, in the same way. So that's why it wouldn't be D. Go ahead, Sire. I think like you got a question on that one. I thank you for clearing that up because you see where my colonial mindset went? Y'all all saw where my mind, my, my mind went with that, that understanding the existing borders, which means uh, you were quite uh, correct, uh, Conrad. Um, the ultimate answer is C. So I stand corrected and self-critical. Thank you. Uh -huh. Yeah, I just and I just really appreciate these the study that the um, that the region has like put together for us to be able to to talk about this and to you know and to discuss this um, uh, these type of um, like ideology different ideologies and politics uh, that exist. All right, so let's go to oh do you want oh I got you. Okay, so if um, if nobody else has any questions on number one, we can go to question number two. All right, so the establishment of an all African socialist government will advance the triumph of the international socialist revolution and the onward progress toward A, anarchy, B, black supremacy, C, utopia, or D, communism. Um, Let's give this one to, let's see, let's see somebody, well, he ain't new new, but let's give it to Comrade Farrell. All right, it will be, um, it will be D, communism. Uh -huh, correct. The, break, the breaking down and dismantling of class-based society and the exploitation of man by man and the oppression of nations by nations you know it will be the ultimate the ultimate communal common living to, to where all needs of all members of society are met and there will be no homelessness there would be no um worker exploitation there would be no food insecurity there would be no um, um, inadequate health care and all the ills of capitalist society that people suffer all around us, all around this world, especially those that are colonized, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right Ooh. on, Comrade Cheryl. Um, does anybody else want to elaborate on point two? All right. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to, I mean, one of the things that, that was on point one, and even this this oh, question one and, and and this one as well like like seeing the different the different theories and lines is out there. Uh, I mean, I think it's I think it's so so important because sometimes things can sound good, you know, and 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 in 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 theory, you may unite with stuff. In practice, is when you start to see theory begin to uh, unravel or have to be developed and shaped. You know what I'm saying, and and um, so we understand that you know our end goal, and it has to have an end goal to it. So our end goal is is for a united Africa and African people throughout 
the world, you know what I'm saying? And and to isolate us in any kind of way or to, to, to uh, when we talk about uniting African and African people, that's also saying that we are fighting to destroy these borders that exist, you know, uh, these artificial borders that was created because it wasn't no United States of America before colonialism. There was no, there was no, shit, most of the stuff in existence don't, e don't even exist. There was no 52 countries in Africa before colonialism, you know what I'm saying? So we can't uh, function or organize within the artificial borders that exist. So you can't, you know, there's not gonna be a liberated Ghana without a liberated Africa. There's not gonna be, you know, a, a liberated African and American without a united Africa, you know what I'm saying? Uh, without a, a liberated uh, Africa, you know what I'm saying? So uh, we have to be clear on those things because you can get confined uh, to fighting um, where you at as if, as if it's detached from everything else, which means that you're fighting to work within the confines of colonialism. And that becomes a, a problem and, and, and gives us so many different blind sides. And it works on a narrative of the colonizer as opposed to an independent narrative that helps us, uh, that serves us and serves in our best interest. So we have to be we have to be able to look at those things and not have a subjective discussion, but real, real uh, principle and theoretical discussion. What is our end goal and what will help us get from where we at to where we're trying to go? And and that's why you have to have theory, and that's why you, that's why we have African internationalism, you know, um, uh, as our theory. We're not Marxists. We're not uh, uh, Leninists. We're not any of those things, uh, and while we can say that they contributed uh, some significant things, you know, they also made errors because of their blind side. And we have to be able to look at those things and say, what is our theory and does our theory, is our theory able to be practiced? Which I think the African People's Social Party, you know, uh, you see that every day in the practice that we do. And while we have the 14 point platform that lays out the trajectory of what our end goal is, what our end goal is. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah Uhuru, I, can I add on? That's a, when y'all when when you finish. Say that again. I was just asking if I could just add on to what the comrade was uh saying. Yeah, go ahead, Langston. Um uh, I appreciate you went on mute. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just wanted to ask because uh based off what you were saying, I'm looking at the um, option. You keep going, you went on mute again. I don't know. Can y'all hear me? Yeah, y'all yeah, can, can hear you now. All right. Uh, hopefully that doesn't keep happening, but if it does, I have to fix fix it and then I just come back. But um, looking at the answers, C and D, utopia and communism, you know, when you're out, you know, talking amongst people, about you know the theory of African internationalism and you're talking about socialism, people uh, might say to you that you know what you're trying to fight for, what you're trying to bring into existence is a utopia. So mm -hmm. I guess I would ask, you know, what's the difference between C and D? And that's to anybody on the um on the Zoom tonight. Oh, yeah, I appreciate that question, comrade. Can I see the answers again? Like, I'm kind of visual. Oh. Yeah, we get it. We get it put back up. I appreciate that question because that is something that does come up a lot. Um, I think more like in like quote unquote like intellectual settings, like a lot of times like organizing on like campuses or something. But um, but yeah, I'll let you take that one. Yeah, I mean, I want to open it up for anybody else before I if I. Say something just to see if anybody had any thoughts or comments around that around uh -huh. that question that he just raised. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, my thoughts on that is uh colonizing is that um the whole America is colonized, the whole British, the whole Europe, all of that is colonizing. That's where um this real Columbus come from, colonizing. That's why they, they don't want to change the District of Columbus or nothing about it because it's very colonizing about um, 
King, the King, the King James, and all of them, you know, and all, all, all the, um, the Queen and all of them. It's all tied up in compromise, and that's why DC is called District of Columbus. Uhuru. Uhuru. Yeah, I appreciate that. Let me see. I should. Uh, do you want to address that question that he just asked? Uhuru. Yeah, um, I appreciate that question too. I think um, the whole question of utopia, like <clears throat> a utopia is, when you think of a utopia, you, typically you're thinking about some kind of like imaginary place right. or some kind of situation where things are just perfect. There's just absolute perfection. And that's different from what we're talking about when we talk about communism, because I mean, as long as there's life, there's contradictions, you know? I mean, um, it, probably the contradiction we can all um, see most immediately with life, even if everything else seems to be great, is that there's death. I mean, there's there's contradictions no matter, you know, no matter what. So under communism, the expectation is not that there will be no contradictions, that everything is perfect, but that the way in which society has been has been developed now, where, I mean, the whole world capitalist economy is based on colonialism, is based on the theft of resources, is, is based on the theft of labor, um, is, is based on the most incredible acts of violence, and not just in its history, but to be maintained. And it has created a, a, a world where, you know, a small group of people live, and this is meaning the white world, um, living at the expense of the vast majority of the world's people. Um, and so when we talk about um, moving towards communism, um, which is even different from, it, it's, 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 it's like, it, advancing socialism because under socialism we still will have the state because to go from the, the way the world is now to a place where those who have have typically owned and controlled everybody who now have to live in a world where they're not owning and controlling every damn thing you're gonna need police you're gonna need but this will be the people's police you know you're gonna need courts to to, to put them on trial and throw them in jail. You know, you're gonna need jails to throw them in and, and anybody else who wants to go back to the old ways of doing things. So you, we, we're still under socialism, gonna have to have a, a state apparatus that allows us to secure the gains that we would have won through the revolutionary process. But the idea is that over time, that new human beings will be created, that that there will be less reliance on coercion, less reliance on the force of the state, and more of a situation where people have have developed, um, you know, because our needs are being met, because those old tendencies have been beat back, that over time there will be uh, there won't be the need to have uh, this this the state, which is really an instrument of coercion to make people do things that they may not otherwise want to do. So that's what the ultimate aim is. And that's what we're talking about when we're talking about communism, that that state apparatus is no longer um, necessary. Again, doesn't mean there won't be contradictions in the family, in the community, but they can be resolved and they will be resolved, um, you know, in, 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 um, in ways that will, that will advance you know, the interests of the collective as opposed to the individual. So that's different from the utopia where you just said everything is perfect. Mm -hmm. There are no issues. There are no contradictions. And that just is not, that that doesn't line up with what we know about life. There are all contra always going to be contradictions in life. Uhuru. 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 That was a really, really helpful, um, I think, uh, explanation of, like, not even just, like, communism versus utopia, but even the process in, in which um, uh, I think was one of the main points of this, uh, the 14 point in the platform of like how socialism will lead to communism, which um, which I'm glad was uh, Director Aisha like really um, thoroughly explained. But um, it looked like some people might have some comments 
for that. So uh, we'll open it up for this, um, stay on this maybe about another five minutes. Ahuru, uh, what I wanna say about that question there is, um, we do need police and things, but we need our own nation, our own nation. So we can have our own police. We can have our own government. We can have our own courthouses, our own, own judges. <laughs> but we can have our own everything. That's what we need. We don't need them doing nothing for us. We need to have our own doing by any mean necessary. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, who right on. And, I, and I think that's Ooh. what uh, Director Dr. Aisha Fields was saying is that under, colonial, uh, under co communism, you know, uh, the people would be the police and we'll be locking We'll be locking the the the, the colonizer. We'll be locking them up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so that's right on. No doubt. Uhuru, real quick. We are not Marxists. I'm reading from an uneasy equilibrium um, from the chairman. Uhuru. We are not Marxists. We are historical materialists. We have used historical materialism of Marx, the science of investigating and analyzing society, to investigate and analyze our reality as Africans. Our findings prove that we are part of the primitive accumulation mentioned by Marx in his works. You know, dispelling Marx. We're, we're not Marxists, we're not Leninists, we're not uh, 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 following Stalin. Totally separate situation. Um, and this is why when we talk about this point, this 14 point, for us, the rise of capitalism in the world is not based on some purely abstract Marxist theory about the development of human society. It is not a theoretical question. Primitive accumulation is not a theory. The rape of Africa, the enslavement of our continent and our people, the forcible dispersal of Africans throughout the world as a means of rescuing Europe from disease and poverty. The process that gave rise to capitalism is a matter of historical record. Marx, the spectator, did not have to understand this. The person sitting on the hot stove, living, breathing, thinking, primitive accumulation, uh, would either understand this question or perish. We choose to understand. More than that, we choose to develop a worldwide stemming, a worldview, I'm sorry, stemming from this understanding. This is the origin of African internationalism. So this 14 point, in my opinion, of uh, what I'm looking at, what I'm reading, what I'm eating, um, simply means that there are no borders. That, that means that there's no restriction between here in the Southern region or the Midwest region or the continent itself. There are no borders. And we must collectively come together in the 14 point, 14 point uh, to work for the common good of all. When you talk about socialism, that's what we talk about. When you say communism, we mean socialism. It actually means that no one uh, everyone eats. We share equally. Uh, we eat equally. There, it, it, when you, everybody has the comfort of having everything that they need, there is no rules, no laws broken. Uhuru. Right. Um, okay, we have, we got two other people with their hand raised. Um, okay. Okay, no, we got one. Uhuru, I, I just wanted to, this is like, I guess, a question, a comment, or just me desiring some more education or um, guidance on the mind, the frame of mind um, around like communism. From what I understand, I'm sorry, Bilal, from what I understand, so far, it's sounding like a collective consciousness matched up with the pra practice, um, like hand in hand. So practice and collective consciousness together. Um, that's what I'm understanding, especially after listening um, to the to the quote. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm. Maybe if I'm guide me if I'm not in the right going in the, I don't want to say right or wrong, but in the proper I guess direction with all with my understanding what I understand I'll repeat 
is a collective consciousness and a collective practice that matches the collective consciousness. Sorry. <laughs> Who anybody wanna 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 uh address that? Um oh go ahead, Farrell. Mm -hmm. oh. I, 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 I would say this much. Um under the current under the current economic system that we live up under, that was developed through the enslavement and the forced dispersal of our people across this world. Under the system of capitalism, the, the means of production, the everyday things that people need for life, the basic necessities of life, food, shelter, health care, education, water, all these things under capitalism has been, these resources and, 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 and things that people need for survival, for existence, have been monetized. They have been they have been uh, uh, um, taken over by people and parcelled out to people for profit. You know what I mean? People's everyday necessities is being taken advantage of by a, 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 a minority of ruling class parasites that get rich and wealthy. You know what I mean? Off off the off the needs of 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 of, of the people of the world. You know, and the resources of the earth been here since times immemorable, you know what I'm saying? And they belong to everybody. And the primary contradiction in life right now across the world is the basic need to survive. But the basic need to survive has been dominated by these parasites who monetize what we need for life, for existence, for our children, for, for um, you know what I mean, everybody, you know what I'm saying? And so communism, would be taking the resources, taking the wealth that's created by everyone in society and dished out to all members of society equally to make sure that these basic necessities of life are met. Under, communi under communism, you have a right to life. You have a right to shelter. You have a right to be healthy and to have access to health care. Under capitalism, if you can't pay rent, you out on the street. The homelessness in here in America it's appalling. I see it every day. I see it every day. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, like, I mean, I see people every day, man, uh, um, um, laying on the streets, um, in, 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 in pathways and things like that. And it's because of the contradictions of capitalism. It's because of the contradictions of capitalism because mm -hmm. to have shelter has been monetized. To have shelter has been um, um, housing and all these things have been dominated by the colonizers through uh, uh, years of accumulation of wealth to where they own everything. And they use these things as a, mean of, uh, as a means of control and they use these things as a means of, of, of selfish greed to enrich themselves at everybody else's expense. That's the contradiction in life that we are trying to do away with. And at the same time, we understand that the colonizers have been overly hostile towards our people, they have brutalized the murders, jails, and everything for 600 years. And so, you know, to create our own nation, a unified Africa, to solve our own problems, and to equally distribute the wealth of our motherland that we have a right to. Because we are from the motherland. That, that is our homeland. We were supposed to be snatched away from us. To return there, to gain control of our resources, and to use those resources for the benefit of all of our people. So there won't be no poverty. So there won't be no homelessness. So there won't be people that have to choose between a, 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 a astronomical a, a bill, you know what I mean, for, 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 for basic health, you know what I'm saying, for their life. Something that my cousin went through who just recently passed. You know what I'm saying? She was so scared to go to the emergency room because of the bill that she didn't go to the emergency room, you know, and end up dying. You know what I'm saying? But there's plenty of people that, that, that make those kind of choices based off economics because their right to health care has been uh, uh, um, dangled over their head for profit. If you can't buy it, you can't get it. And who has the damn right to do that? Who has the right to say that you live or die, you know what I mean, if you can pay for it or can't pay for it? But that's 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 the system under capitalism. That's the system under capitalism. 
Mm-hmm. That's what mm-hmm. we're trying to do away to do away with because everybody has a right to the basic necessities of life. And that was an African understanding. That was the understanding of all original peoples on this earth before we met the colonizers and was brainwashed to think in the manner that they have taught us to think, which is a matter that people have not, you know what I mean? That's a social system that didn't exist until like the 17th century or something like that. Ooh, I appreciate Ooh. that, comrade. I appreciate Ooh, that. Ooh. I I wanted to I wanted to too real quick just uh just add to that, you know what I'm saying? Cause like I think uh what we have to understand is 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 like like you said, like social systems, you know, uh exist whether we conscious of them or not. You know what I'm right. saying? So it's like, and as a materialist, like we say that like matter is primary, you know what I'm saying? Like uh, colonialism and and metaphysics uh, 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 teach you that mind over matter, but you can't have a mind if you don't have matter. You know what I'm saying? Like your brain itself is matter. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's matter over everything. You know what I'm saying? So you know uh, a social system exists whether you're conscious of it or not. You know what I mean? And mo- in fact, you know to prove that most people don't understand what capitalism and colonialism is. You know what I'm saying? We just understand that we in a society and, and we may understand our oppression because from the experience, but we don't understand that how the social system function or what the social system uh, uh, really is. So I think um, what, what, what we understand is that a, a social system, some social system is, um, uh, it only works for the minority of people in, uh, in, in, that, in that society. And that's what colonialism is. That's what capitalist colonialism is. It, it takes people resources for the few. And, and, and we saying that that is upside down. We need to turn the world right side up and, and, and make it where the majority of the people are owners of that wealth, you know what I'm saying, that they produce. And, and, and so, uh, but whether people conscious of it or not, you know, I, 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 it, it, it won't matter. Uh, you know, and, and that's what we have to help people to understand. Uh-huh. Um, Uh-huh. Sister, I'm going to try to say her name again. Uh, Tama, Tama Nai. She said it was four syllables ago. Am I saying it right? Say Tama. it one more time for me. Sorry about that. This is Andrew here, but we're almost done with this bedtime thing. All right. Um, t- uh, four syllables, Tama Nai. Tamanai. Tamanai. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah, Tamanai. and the flow. Sorry, the flow is Tamanai. Tamanai. Yeah. Was that was that helpful? Um, for your question? Yes. Okay. Yes, All right. Uhuru. And there's a um, I know we're getting close to to time, and I appreciate everybody's input and everybody's questions um around this point. And I think it's something that we um that we really have to grapple with you know, in terms of like getting free. And I mean, we talk like, it's easy to say that this shit don't work. Like, like that capitalism, the current system that black people live under around the world doesn't work. Like we can all see that because we, we all see the police brutality. We all see homelessness or, or inadequate housing. When we do got housing, don't most black people don't got no health care. And even when we do got health care, you know, most Western practices, you know, it's, it's not like a holistic approach, with, you know, which is best for our bodies and our mind, our mental health. Um, so I think everybody on here is on here because we can all unite and agree that this don't work for us. Um, but when we look at that, but then, so then what is the alternative? What does work for Black people? What, what has, what can, what can work for humanity? And, um, and, you know, obviously we're the African People's Socialist Party. So, you know, we, you know, believe that that that's socialism, you know, based on science, like Comrade Kobina was saying, like, as, as the, like, looking at the material world, like what's, what's really out there. And so, um, so yeah, so I think it's really important for us to understand socialism and then, um, and how socialism can lead to, or how socialism will lead to communism and what that really means. And like I said, I know we getting close to um, our time limit when we have to wrap up. And I wanted to play this video um, of Chairman Amalia Shatella. And I just put it in the um, in the chat. 
on um on the zoom and we could we'll put it in there on the um facebook too in a, in a second um but i just put it in the chat on facebook i mean on the zoom and uh, those y'all that's on i strongly encourage everybody to copy this link and, um and check it out on this video on youtube where the chairman you know explaining more about what socialism is and i can remember watching this video from I, and I probably refer to like my sponsorship a lot, but like my sponsorship with Comrade Kobina, and it was really helpful because I had so many questions. Like, I know this don't work, but like everything about socialism wasn't making sense. And some stuff, you know, everything, some things we're gonna have to figure out along the way, certain practices, because it's something new. It's something that, that we should be talking about uniting all the whole African nation, not just the uh, Algerian revolution, or a Nigerian or a Kenyan revolution. We're talking about uniting the whole African nation. And so some things, you know, we'll have to, it's, it's gonna come through practice. And um, and that's the the beauty of it also. But um, but I would strongly encourage everybody, I couldn't, you know, we don't have time to, uh, to play the, a short snippet of what I wanted to show today on, um, you know, what, what, com what socialism will look like um, you know, in the building of like revolution and in the creating of the new human, like how Dr. Aisha Fields was saying. And so, yes. So watch, watch, please watch this video. Um, and, uh, you can, um, come on to the chairman's live streams every Sunday at 7 a.m. Central Standard Time. And you can, after you watch that video, you can put in questions in there about socialism. Like we want you to ask questions. The chairman wants you to come on the live and, and ask questions and really grapple with it. Like today, I think these were really honest questions of like what, you know, um, uh, what does socialism mean or what does it mean to have one united Africa? And these are the questions that it's gonna take for us to really understand what, what it's gonna require for us to, you know, free ourselves from, liberate ourselves from this current system that we, um, that we face under. So, um, uh, I think we got some, um, announcements that's about to come up. Um, Kobina. Uhuru. Uhuru. Oh, go ahead, Comrade Farrell. Comrade Kundai. Hey, um, so you, you, um, you put a link and we can like we can copy the link to the video or something like that. Yeah, if you um you can click on it now and it should pull up like another window or something and take you to the, to the YouTube. But yeah, or you can copy and paste it and just put it in Google, and then you could um and then you can see it'll take you. This is the link for the uh, actual uh, video of the chairman on YouTube. It's an old study from a long time ago, but it's um it's really really helpful um in terms of understanding like. What was what will socialism look like? What how is that different from what we experience and now outside of like some of the obvious things, you know, that you know we can easily talk about on the surface. Right. Okay. And there's a newer one. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, I see you. There's a newer one too, um, that the chairman just recently did. And it was a study where he um it was uh what I think it was it's titled like what will socialism look like or socialism versus capitalism might have been the title. Um, but if you type in like Chairman Amalia should tell us in socialism on YouTube, it should be one of the first ones that come up. And it's a newer one. It's from 2021. And the chairman did like in in the whole hour of it was just questions from from the comments of people like really trying like, well, how would this work under socialism? How does this work under socialism? And well, what about this? Then they try, didn't wasn't socialism practice here and this is what happened. So how can it work now? And you know, so it was, but it was really good questions from that I think a lot of people have and that I know as organizers that we've heard like a thousand times before um, and, they, and, they, and they, you know, good questions, but the chairman like really elaborates on those, um, on those questions and, and, you know, just a space to open it up to everybody to ask their questions about socialism. So if y'all type that in on YouTube, you can find some other good like resources. Right. Go ahead, um, Comrade Sayero. Yeah, is this a smart African channel right here? These smart Africans are on this channel. Of course. Um, Comrade Kira, you look like my baby sister. Uh, Comrade Aisha, it was good to hear from you tonight. I want to tell everybody on this on this uh, on this blog right on this uh, blog right Zoom that this is the Smart African Channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, let's turn it over to Comrade Kobina for some announcements and call for membership and resources. Oh, yeah, comrades. 
I, I, I always enjoy the uh, the PE. I mean, it's good to just engage with comrades in like a, a, a session where we really dig in deeper into what African internationalism is, you know, and 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 examining the fourteen point platform. You know, uh, I salute my leadership chairman Omalia Satella and comrades. If you're not a member of the African People's Socialist Party, like Comrade Saedo said, just what African, join the African People's Socialist Party. You can join the African People's Socialist Party at APSP, uh, org. If you're not a member and you want to become a member, you know, you can let us know. We can get you signed up. You're involved with one of the mass organizations. You know, uh, if, you're not, if you don't think you're ready for the part or you want to learn more, join one of the mass organizations, comrade, and, and, and uh, you know, get involved in his work. I know when I was younger, I used to wonder, even with my parents, like, you know, why why are we not, why, why are you not involved in, in, in the struggle of what's going on with our people? You know, well, I hear people say, you know, if 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 uh if I was if I was born in the sixties, I would or if I was in the sixties, I would have been a Panther, or I would have been back in the day, I would have been down with Marcus Garvey, or you know what I'm saying, but you can be down with Chairman O'Malley as a teller right now. You can be a part of the African People's Socialist Party right now. You know what I'm saying? In our lifetime, you can do that. So join APSP or who.org and come as uh like I said, if you're interested. Let us know. You know what I'm saying? Say it now. Put it in the chat. You know, we can we can follow up with you. If you got any questions about joining, we can definitely uh have more discussion around around this. And uh we also have a goal every every meeting to raise a hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? And 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 um, you know, a lot of times Africans we don't have just a hundred dollars to give, but when you got a collective of it, you know what I'm saying, you got a hundred people. Everybody can donate a dollar, you know what I'm saying? I, and I always say this, but Garvey, you know, it was people that donated 10 cents to the Black Star Line. That's what, you know, really helped the Black Star Line, you know, function it because it was a, it was a, a organization and an institution of the people. And that's who we are, you know what I'm saying? So we want to raise a hundred dollars and we already started now because some people that are not here have, have donated. Uh, I donated, I donated $15 Right now, and 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 uh, comrade um, Sae, who who's on Facebook now, she she's not feeling well today. Is why she's not here. She also donated fifteen dollars. Uh, comrade Indigo, who's on Facebook uh, today, she donated five dollars. So we had thirty five dollars. You know what I'm saying? So all we gotta raise now is sixty five dollars amongst us. You know, and if you're on Facebook, you know, go ahead and and, and donate as well. And you can donate at uh, dollar sign. APSP South, APSP South. You know what I'm saying? We can we can donate it at dollar sign APSP South. And uh, you know, if you want to just say that that you're gonna be donating today, let's see if we can raise that hundred dollars. Y'all think we can raise it today, comrades? We can do it. Yes, we definitely can do it. We definitely can do it. You on you on mute, Ferro? I can't really hear you. Now I say we definitely can do it. You know, we gotta add you. Hey, we gotta we gotta contribute to our own liberation. The colonizers ain't gonna do it for us. That's for sure. That's what's up. Yeah, we we can do it, comrade. I we can do it. Um, yeah, I definitely um I could I could contribute five dollars. That's what's up. So we had forty. That's what's up. Right on, Pharaoh. You know what I'm saying? I, I got five on it with Pharaoh. No doubt. That, who else was there? Uh, huh? We do we send this to Cash App or how is this done? Yeah, cash app. You can cash app at the dollar sign APSP South. Hey, I got on um, a hey, Uru come right. I got on um, like um the cash app. I, man, the ca hey cash app be 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 sending man it be sending me through all kind of BS right. So I stopped messing with cash app and I never mess with it again. So I just um got me a PayPal account, but I got a little bread on there and I could do it through PayPal. So how I go about doing that? Okay, we we let's link out to this and we'll we'll get that settled. Okay. That's what's okay. up. We get that settled. Need, uh -huh. Okay, I great. I have it. PayPal too, so let me know. Okay, okay. And I got PayPal. And can you bring my phone? And I, I'll make sure that before we get off this call, that I'll put the PayPal link into there uh for you to donate through PayPal. And and uh 
Kira, how, how much you say you donating? I can get 15. That's what's up. 15, 15. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, so comrades, we, we almost there. And yeah. Where we at right now? So that's 35. That's, right uh, uh, well, we at 60. We at 60. And then uh look like somebody else, LaShonda donated 20, so that put us at 80. And then we got uh Coco on Facebook that donated 10, so that put us at 90. So uh let, let's keep it going. We ain't got but ten dollars left, come right. I got the last 10 on it. That's what I'm talking about. They, don't say the last 10. You just got last, the I got the my fault. You know I got the, I got the next, else might have 10 I got the next 10. So you gonna say that the last beginning 10. of the next hundred. We're at the beginning of the next hundred. <laughs> So All right, so Dex got this got ten. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So that's what's up, coming right. We got the hundred dollars, but it don't mean that you that you if you haven't donated and your pockets is itching and that money is jumping out your pocket saying that I want to put it on. You don't, we don't have to stop at a hundred. So if you got it and uh, but we have reached our goal uh today. But if you got it and and you still want to donate, you know we don't. It ain't no cutoff. You know what I'm saying? So you mm -hmm. can you can you can make that donation uh still happen whether you're on Facebook. Or uh, or you on um, on uh, on on this meeting right now, and before we go, I wanna um, uh, just take like two minutes to to play some announcements. Can I can I get the uh, to be able to share my screen? And Director Kile, who is the director of Ag agitation and propaganda, uh, she's responsible. I mean, a hell of a leader, responsible for getting the spear. If you ever get, you gotta get the burning spear. If you get the spear, you um, you know what I'm saying? You just, it's just always dynamic. This comrade is always getting the spear out uh, on time, you know, in, 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 into different prisoners. If you wanna sponsor a prisoner, which we'll see a little bit of that. But uh, we want you also come uh, uh, register and join us on February 11th through 14th for the plenary. But I'm gonna I'm play the announcements. Uh, uh -huh. I'm gonna share the screen. Yeah, you can share. Can you share the screen right now? You should have the ability to. You not seeing it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, give me, give me half a tick, and I'm gonna get this up here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna share my screen now. on all party and Uhuru Movement members and supporters attend the 2022 plenary conference of the African People's Socialist Party, February 11th through the 14th. The title of this year's plenary is Relentless, 50 Years of Leadership Toward African Redemption. Registration for this four-day online conference costs just $25. Read the full call to attend by Chairman Amalia Shetela and register by going to APSPplenary.org. The African National Women's Organization calls on Black women and our supporters to attend the Black Women's Convention, March 25th to 27th, 2022. The Black Women's Convention is an annual gathering of working class Black women who believe that capitalist colonialism must be destroyed in order for African women to be free. We believe that by building an organization that is dedicated to raising deep struggle against the devastating impact of colonialism in the lives of African women and around the world, we will consolidate and fortify our efforts to defeat capitalism despite our borders or our conditions. Because of COVID, this will be a virtual event. The early registration deal is available now through January 25th. Go to convention.anwouhuru.org for more information. Like and follow the Loise Kinshasa Like page on Facebook for more African internationals political es uh, education. Secretary General Loise Kinshasa does frequent live events, such as the War of Ideas series. He includes live sessions done in French. To get alerts of when SG Loise is going live, make sure to like and follow his page today. 
Uhuru Furniture and Collectibles in Oakland, California is hiring a full-time truck driver and full-time marketing coordinator. If you have driving and furniture lifting skills, social media and print marketing experience, and if you can work Wednesday through Sunday, then apply for these positions and contribute your labor and skills to this institution of the African People's Education and Defense Fund. Every day you can work with an amazing team and go home knowing that you're helping to build the independent African economy. Uhuru Furniture is just one of the ways APDF is paving the way for genuine economic development in the African community. To apply, visit uhurufurniture.blogspot.com. On Tuesday nights from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern, join Ralph Pointer on What's Happening Blog Talk Radio. Tune in by calling 347-857-3293. Ralph Pointer sits on the Black is Back Coalition Steering Committee and chairs the BIP BC's Political Prisoners Working Group and also leads the Lynn Stewart Committee. We are calling on people to follow the All African People's Development and Empowerment Project on Facebook or visit developmentforafrica.org for important information and helpful tips in regards to the colonial virus COVID-19. APDEF launched an international telehealth program, a free resource for African people to get our COVID-19 related questions and concerns answered by licensed doctors and nurses through Project Black Onc. Make your free virtual appointment with one of their professional health providers by going to developmentforafrica.org slash telehealth. To keep up with our movement events, visit the burningspur.com's events page and subscribe to our mailing list. And our last announcement for today, make sure you like and subscribe to the Burning Spur TV on YouTube to catch every episode of the Omali Taught Me Sunday Study and support the Omali Taught Me show by donating now at paypal.me slash Omali Taught Me. So that's our show for today. Again, thank you. I want to salute your leadership, Chairman Molly Shatella, and this profound political report. Oh, oh, comrades, I, I appreciate that. We want again want y'all to join APS, join APSPOHU.org. We want you to register for the plenary. You know, we want you to come back to next week, uh, political education Thursday uh, at eight. I mean, at seven uh, p.m. Central, eight p.m. Eastern. Bring somebody with you. You know what I'm saying? Bring somebody with you. And um, and again, I will send. Uh, out to y'all the, the 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 PayPal, and I'll make sure that next week I have that on hand and ready to go. But I will send that uh, to you, Comrade Kira, and uh, and and Comrade Ferro, uh, to make sure that y'all have the PayPal account, and 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 uh, I'll make sure that next week we have the Cash App and the PayPal for those that you know uh, have alternate ways to to make the payment. But I appreciate everybody uh, participating today. And comrades, we got work to do forward to the third plenary of the African People's Socialist Party. And uh, comrades, let's vanguard up and be relentless in our liberation. Vanguard up. Vanguard up. Uh, 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 uh,